every election creates an opportunity to make a decision on our path to progress. But we don't take it because of this harmful belief that until and unless your brother or your sister from the same region or the same ethnic background becomes president or parliamentarian, life will never be comfortable for you. We've made politics like winning a lottery. Once in power, it's easier to get fleets of cars and houses for yourself, but difficult to make public housing you know, and transport work perfectly for ordinary people. Because politics has always been a shortcut to wealth, politicians don't care if they promote hate and division just to gain your votes. They know deep in their bones that if elections are focused on discussing how to make Sierra Leoneans better off, you will begin to ask questions about your welfare instead of supporting political parties like Headless Chicken. So think about it. All you get from hating a Sierra Leonean from another region are handouts from politicians, which is making you lazy, helpless, and perpetually dependent on politicians. To understand how politics is affecting you and your community, we have developed this list of 150 topmost positions, heads of ministries, departments, and agencies appointed by President Bio in the last four years. We have also traced the origins of chiefdoms and communities of officials who occupied the same 150 positions under successive presidents, from Koroma to Kaba down to Milton Magai in the last 60 years of independence. In general, 57% of people in these chiefdoms live below the poverty line. There are some chiefdoms that have received over 50 appointments in the last 60 years. Apart from the electricity you see in the homes of those appointed and elected to public offices, which separates them from the darkness suffered by the rest of mankind, much has not changed. Moyamba, Tonkolili and Bond districts that sit on top of billions of dollars of rutile and iron ore have 70% of their residents living in poverty for decades, yet they don't care about using their votes to change their living conditions. Masiaka, a town named after late President Yaka Stevens, have not received electricity for 60 years, yet they happily dance as they vote in every election. Just know this, your politics is neither providing personal finances and health care for Mendes and Timnis, nor providing electricity for Connors, Creoles and Limbas, yet we keep fighting. Some even want us to divide the country like this and abuses sending hate messages from abroad inciting violence. So here are three ways you can make the 2023 elections begin to change your living conditions. First, stop the belief that your hardship will go away if your tribesman becomes president or a parliamentarian. Second, take responsibility of your own life. Your life will change if you stop blaming opposition or ruling party for your situation. If you don't believe me, go ask people who have stopped blaming others and taking control of their destiny. Tunde Cole the head of National Petroleum donated over $2 million to construct a building at Furabe College, the university he studied engineering. If you ignore politics for five years and rely on your own strength, you will see the progress in your personal finances and growth. Third, know that hate only leaves you in poverty. That even if our parliament and state house are up for sale, I bet you, People from the Mende, Timini and Limba tribes that have dominated politics for years will find it difficult to buy it. Again, if you don't believe me, just know that 80% of high buildings in Freetown are owned by people who have no interest in politics or violence. So if State House is up for sale, they will buy it. The more you practice hate and violence, the more you lose your economic power. So my friends, be positive and practice love, and life will go on for you in a more productive and strong manner. Sierra Leone is one of the few countries in Africa where we have changed government two times in the last 14 years. We all speak the same Creole, eat the same cassava leaves, 
so we can easily be an example of a country that is united in Africa. So if you allow yourself to be weak to the point of someone inciting you to hate another Sierra Leonean that you should be combining forces to progress your life, you blame yourself.